Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So here we are discussing the question rock, paper, scissor on chord chef. So the problem states that chef and Shefina are playing the famous game of rock, paper, scissors. The game consists of n rounds. In each round both players choose one of the three moves rock, paper or scissor represented by R, P and S respectively. If both the players play the same move, the current round ends in a draw and neither of them gets a point. If one of the players play rocks and other play scissors, the player who played rock wins the round and gets a point. If one of the players plays scissors and other plays paper, the, paper, the player who played scissors wins the round and gets a point. If one of the players play paper and other plays rock, the paper, the player who played paper wins the round and gets a point. Winner of the game is the player who gets maximum number of points after playing all the rounds. If both players have the same number of points, then the game ends in a draw. You are given two strings A and B, each of length n, consisting of uppercase letters R, P and S, where A I denotes by denotes the move made by Chef in ith round and B I denotes the move made by Shefina in ith round. We need to find the minimum number of rounds Chef would play differently to have won the game. So we have our first line as P the number of test cases second by denoting the number of rounds and at last the two lines represent the strings a and b so in the first case now here you have let's first write the cases so here the cases is if we have rock scissor so rock wins if we have scissors and paper so scissors win and in case of paper and rock paper wins so these are the cases which we have now let's see the test cases so in the test cases what we have is we have first R and S so R wins chef is having let's denote chef by C and uh, let's denote chef in a by C2 and chef by C1 okay so chef gets one point now R and P P wins so chef in a get one point in case of R and P again Shefina get one point so two points of Shefina one point of Chef now how many points does Chef need to win one more point so the output is one in this case in the next case we have R S where Chef wins one point and P P so it's a draw hence Chef wins so we do not need any of them so zero so no need to play the round differently in this case now let's see the third test case let's remove this for the third test case we have p and s in case of p and s s wins shefina gets one point s and r in case of s and r r wins so Shefina get two points and last is PP which is a draw. So zero points of Chef, two points of Shefina. So what you at least need is two points for Chef. So he needs to play two rounds differently to win the game. So now how we are calculating it? It's very simple first of all you can calculate the points of chef and shefina differently or else what you can do is when shefina wins let us store a variable called answer initially it is zero and if chef wins we add one in answer and if shefina wins we subtract one from the answer so after this what we do is now we check 
if our answer is coming suppose greater than 0 which means the answer is positive answer is positive means chef has scored more points if chef has scored more points then we do not need to do anything and do not need to play the round separately so we simply output 0 now in the case if answer is equal to 0 means both are having the same points but chef wants to win so one game should be different now if these two are not the cases and we are having the answer in negative which means Shefina is having more points so how much more points does Shefina have minus of the answer and how to get the number of rounds it would be simply minus of the answer by 2 plus 1 by plus 1 you can see if we have answer as suppose here odd or even so depending on that the plus 1 would be needed and you can check it by dry running for the other test cases too so this is the solution for our problem i hope you will understand this solution thanks for watching